Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Enjoy English School. I'm Bruce. I'm Anthony. Today we have a close lesson for you. That's where we have a sentence, but a word or phrase is missing, and we give you four choices to consider which one best fits the idea in the blank of that sentence. We've done this with you every month for a long, long time, so you know what to do. Today's lesson is called. What was I doing again? Hmm. What was I doing again? <笑> 我刚哎，我刚刚在干嘛啦？<笑>这个是中文的一句常常会用到的话。我哎，我刚刚在干嘛？哎，我进来进来干嘛？这就是我们今天要讲的主题。What was I doing again? 好，门口效应。我要做什么来着？很好玩吧？我们赶快来看看今天内容喽。What was I doing again? Have you ever walked through a door and thought to yourself, "What was I doing?" For some people, it happens every day. This is called the doorway effect, though it isn't limited to doors. Understanding this phenomenon can teach us about our minds and how our memory works. It turns out that our brains are quite good. At doing many things at the same time, your brain will focus on more difficult tasks, while it will also try to handle as many simple tasks as it can. For example, you're not forgetting to breathe as you read this, are you? However, as your brain takes on too many difficult tasks at once, it's easy to forget some of the simpler tasks you were planning. For instance, maybe you were hungry and went to the kitchen to make a sandwich, but in the process of getting up, walking to the fridge, and opening the door, you forgot what you wanted to get. One thing you can do to prevent this is to focus on the details of your plans. Imagine yourself doing the task first and putting each ingredient on your sandwich. Of course. You may still forget. However, if you can't remember what you were doing, it probably wasn't all that important anyway. Okay, we usually start at the beginning. That's always a good idea. Let's look at our first sentence together. Have you ever walked through a door and thought to yourself, "What was I doing?" Oh, I'd hate to tell you how many times that happens, and from an old guy,、uh, it gets worse. The longer you live, the more this will happen to you. I promise you. Okay, 老师呢，最开始就讲到说呢 ，Have you ever walked through a door and thought to yourself? What was I doing? Ah,、啊、老师就讲说 ，I hate to tell you guys. Ah,、啊、我真不想承认，我真不想跟你讲这件事情。就是年纪越越大的话，这种情况越常发生。尤其是老师他年年纪慢慢大了之后呢，他就变得比较容易发生这种状况。所以第一句话他说 ，Have you ever？ 然后加上 V P P， 就是问对方的经验。你有没有过这样的经验？哎，走过一扇门之后呢，然后就想，哎。我我是要干嘛？我现在要干嘛？我进刚刚进来要拿什么东西？那种感觉，好，搞不好你也有这种类似的经验吧。For some people, it happens every day, so there's something not to look forward to. Yeah, so that 老师呢就指着自己啊，他说 ，For some people like me, <laughs> 然后 it happens every day. 对有些人来讲呢，每天这种事情都会上演，然后呢，有的时候甚至上演很多次这样。Okay, continuing. This is called the doorway effect, though it isn't limited to doors. There's a name for this because it happens to almost everybody. And as I said, the older you are, the more it will happen to you. Don't worry about it; it's natural. And we will explain how it happens or why it happens. The name is the doorway effect because very often. You will do one thing in one room, and then oh, I, I want to do something else. As you leave and go into another room, you lose your train of thought. Train of thought. T R A I N. 嗯，就像那个火车的那个 train 吗 ？Yeah. Ah,、oh, your your train of thought. 就突然之间你思绪断掉了。你刚忘记说，哎，我刚刚本来是要做什么事情的。所以在这句话说 ，this 
is called the doorway effect. 这个就称之为门口效应。我本来就以为说啊，这是又是一个现象，但是我还不知道它有一个词汇。他说 ，though it isn't limited to doors. 当然，这种现象不只是出现在门口而已，在任何情况，<笑>打开冰箱的时候发现，哎，我要拿什么<笑> ？OK， 所以对，不不会因为这样而叫冰箱效应。所以它有一个名字叫门口效应。那并不只限于在经过门的时候才会发生。Okay, our next sentence gives us our first close opportunity. Blank. This phenomenon can teach us about our minds and how our memory works. Now we have four choices. This is a grammatical choice. Understand, understood, understands, and understanding. Looking at the structure of this sentence, we have. Blank. This phenomenon can teach us. So that's the verb. Can teach the subject something. This phenomenon. Well, it can't be understand because we already have a verb. It can't be understood. That's the past tense, and it can't be understands because that's third person singular present tense. But understanding is a gerund which can have its own. Object, so understanding what the object is. This phenomenon, a phenomenon, is anything really that occurs, any kind of experience. If you want to understand this kind of experience,、uh, or look into it, research it, we can learn something about how our minds work. 嗯 ，OK， 所以在这里的话呢，你就可以看到老师刚刚也解释了 phenomenon 这个字。Phenomenon 的意思就是现象，然后就是你你有有的这种经验。那在这边的话，整句话说什么 ？This phenomenon can teach us。在这个 can 前面，你可以把它整句把它框起来，它就像是一个主词 ，it。Can teach us. 那如果说要把一个动作搭配成变成像名词一样的话，我们必须要选一个选项是有 ing 的。老师刚刚提到一个字 ，gerund， 就是指这个动名词的意思。在这边的话，答案是选 D understanding。所以整句话就变成 understanding this phenomenon。好，知道这个现象呢 ，can teach us about our minds， 可以让我们更加的了解我们的心智。And how our memory works, 还有我们的这个记忆是怎么样运作的 ？Okay, let's continue. It turns out that our brains are quite good at doing many things at the same time.、Uh, I'm not sure about that, but、uh, let's say that's true. It turns out means finally we understand something or or find or discover something. Our brains are thinking. Uh, machine are quite good at doing many things at the same time. Nowadays, they call that multitasking. M U L T I, usually、uh, Jia Duan Xian, T A S K Jia I N G. Multi means many. Task is work or something difficult to do. I N G makes it a noun. Multitasking. Is something which everybody can do, so we can eat and watch TV at the same time. 嗯，没有错，真的就是这样哈。所以这个前面这个 multi 的意思，本来就是指多的意思。所以你会听到什么 multiple choice？ 有没有？就是那种多，这个应该是说那种选择题，有好几个选项的。所以 multi 有时候你会听到人家念 multi。Multitasking, multitasking 都是指多工处理的意思。所以在这边第二段的第一句话呢，他提到说 ，It turns out that 啊，结果居然是这个样子的。你可以说 ，It turns out that。好，如果是讲常态的话，我们会用这种单纯、单纯的这种现在式。但大部分的情况，如果你讲故事的时候，他会用过去式 ，It turned。Out that it turned out that、mm-hmm. 也是更常听到的一个说法。所以在这边呢，他提到说 ，It turns out that our brains are quite good at doing many things at the same time. 然后只有事后居然发觉到说，其实是因为我们的脑子呢非常擅长一次处理很多件事情，多工处理。所以老师刚刚提到 multitasking 这样子的一个形容词的概念。然后同时呢，也顺便举个例子说，我们可以一边吃东西一边看电视来讲，讲讲解这样的一个现象。Okay, continuing. Your brain will focus on more difficult tasks. So 
eating is natural and you don't have to, let's see, I hold something and I bring it to my mouth. It's, it's a natural thing. But as you watch TV, you might have to consider what you are looking at or what is happening on the television. That's a more difficult task, but the brain will naturally focus on more difficult things. Mm, 没错，好，所以说 your brain will focus on more difficult tasks. 啊，他们这个脑袋呢自动会分配资源，会把比较多的资源分配到比较难的事情上面。吃东西嘛，把它放到嘴里很简单，但是你要看剧情的时候，你就会很认真的去看，去分析这个角色为什么要这样做。你注意力多半都会放在剧情上头，大概是这样子的感觉。And the rest of the sentence starts with a blank. Our second one, blank. It will also try to handle, to take care of, to understand or do as many simple tasks as it can. <sighs> Breathing, eating.、Uh, if you're sitting and you're uncomfortable, your brain will tell you, "Well, move," and,、mm. and so you will fe- you won't feel uncomfortable. But what joins these two ideas? Is it a because, b while, c until? Or D once. First, the brain、uh, will focus on or concentrate on difficult things.、Mm. It will also try to handle. So we have difficult and handle. That's a difference. And the、uh, word here, which connects different things, is while.、Uh, we could also use something like、uh, but. Which would be simple, but here we are using、uh, while to join these two, not opposite but very different qualities. 嗯，没错。所以在这个地方，我们选 B 选项 while. While 通常是在比较两件事情，往往有一种对比的感觉 ，to present a contrast. 然后就用两种东西对比在一起，所以在这边的话，他会用到 while 把这两句话结合起来。他说：“你的你的脑袋会把主要的东工作呢放在比较难的事情上面。”而同时呢，它也会怎么样 ？It will also try to handle as many simple tasks tasks as it can. 但同时呢，顺便一些简单的小事，它也可以顺便处理。所以在这句话，我们要选 while 把这两句话结合起来。For example,、uh, so we'll give you an example of this difference between difficult and easy. You're not forgetting to breathe. You don't forget to breathe as you read this article or Uh, look at something else. We don't think, oh, I should be breathing in now. <sighs> oh, now I have to breathe out. We don't have to think about that. So breathing is a good example of something easy and natural. We don't have to think about it. 嗯，没错，他就举了例子了。For example, you're not forgetting to breathe as you read this, aren't you? 好，这边说你在看这篇文章或者在听我们这个讲讲解的时候，看这个节目的时候，你也没有忘了呼吸，对吧？好<笑>，所以在这时候可以用 breathe 这个字啊，这是个动词来去说明这样的概念。同时注意一下 ，breathe 它如果是当动词使用，最后有那个一，如果把那个一去掉的话，还变名词，它的念法会变成 breath。Breath. 好，要特别注意一下这个发音，还有它的词性。Okay, let's stop for a moment and take a short break. Okay, let's look at our third paragraph, which has two close items in it. However, as your brain blank too many difficult tasks at once, it's easy to forget some of the simpler tasks you were planning. Remember, the brain focuses on more difficult things. When it does that, you may forget simple things. So, what would fit here? As your brain blank too many difficult tasks, A takes on, B moves on, C gives in, or D hands in.、Uh, there's only one that makes sense. Please, it's A. To take on is to be willing to do something, or you accept to do something. 嗯，没错，在这边的话，我们答案会选 A. Takes on. 老师刚刚提到说 ，to take on something that means to accept it. For example, you can take on a new challenge. 好、mm-hmm. 哦，你可以接受一项新的挑战。Mm-hmm. You can take on something. Take on a new job. 好、哦，可以接受一个新的工作等等。所以这句话说 ，However， 然而呢 ，as your brain takes on too many difficult tasks, tasks 
at once. 好，一次如果处理太多很困难的事情的时候呢 ，it's easy to forget some of the simpler tasks you were planning. 所以说，今天在忙很多大事。资源不足的时候，有些小事就会漏掉了。所以说，今天你本来要进来拿支笔，就忽没想到，因为你在脑中处理更多很很复杂的事情，你拿笔的这件事情就被你脑脑子漏掉了。这样子的一种感觉。For instance, remember we had for example. This is exactly the same usage. For instance, for example, maybe you were hungry and went to the kitchen to make a sandwich. Well, that happens a lot. Not not necessarily a sandwich, but you want to have a little snack. Hmm.、Mm, so here, 这边他就举例了。For instance, 或是刚刚我们前面讲 ，for example， 也都是举例的意思。Maybe you were hungry and went to the the kitchen to make a sandwich. 说不定呢，你突然饿了，你跑到这个厨房里面，打算做个三明治给自己吃。当然，不见得一定要三明治，其他的东西也可以。And we finish this paragraph and our fourth close item with this sentence. But in the blank of getting up, walking to the fridge, and opening the door, you forgot what you wanted to get. Now we learned that the person probably wanted to make a sandwich, but leave, standing up, walking from room to room, opening the door. What was I here for? Was there something? Did I did I want a piece of fruit? It, the big task is you're hungry and you want to eat. But the details are the little stuff, and those are the things we are likely to forget. Ah, so here, 这边的话，你可能肚子饿，肚子饿是主要的这个任务嘛。但你本来想是做一个这个三明治的，一走到这个冰箱前面，哎，因为饿是最重要的事情。然后发现到那些小事，吃什么呢都还好嘛。所以到这边的时候，他就说了 ，But in the 什么 of getting up. 好，他就起身 ，walking to the fridge， 走到这个冰箱前面 ，opening the door， 好，开门。然后突然之间 ，you forgot what you wanted to get. <laughs> 他到底要拿什么忘了<laughs> ？Okay, so notice here we have three actions. Get up is to stand up. Walk to the fridge. Fridge is the short form for refrigerator. Hamafan.、Mm. So we have a short word for that. Three, opening the door. Three different little things. So which of these four choices best?、Uh, Allows us to think about a series of things. Is it A. Manner, B. Occasion, C. Process, or D. Addition? Your best choice is process, which is a way to do things step by step. Yeah, so in this case, the answer we choose is C, process, process. So you can let you see that from getting up, walking to the fridge, opening the door, the whole thing, a series of actions, 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 a series of actions. It's a problem. It's usually a little problem, hopefully, but、uh, why live with even little problems? So now we're going to help you. If this starts to happen to you, what can we do about it? One thing you can do. This is another for example, or,、mm. or for instance, blank. This is to focus. Is it release, prevent, scatter, or leak? Well, it's not anything we want. So, the the best choice, the only choice here, really, is B. Prevent to stop something from happening. We'll tell you what to do. Yep. So, in this case, this is not something we want to happen, right? Then, you want to forget it. Who likes it? So, in this case, in the four choices, the only one that is correct is the B option. Prevent. Prevent 就是避免的意思，所以在这边的话，你看这句话 ，One thing you can do， 你唯一能做的，不能说唯一能做，其中一项能做的事情呢，什么 ？To prevent this， 能够避免刚刚这样的现象发生的话呢 ，is to focus on the details of your plans。好，就是能够你你要做的话，就是你要想办法去注意你的这个计划中的细节，把你的注意力放在上面，这样就可以避免这样的现象发生了。So here's an example of focusing on the details. Imagine, think about doing the task first. What is it I'm going to do? Make a sandwich. 
Well, when we make a sandwich, we have to prepare the bread. We have to prepare something in between. The, those food items are the ingredients of your sandwich. Don't just think about sandwich. Think about what kind of sandwich and how you will make it. Yeah, 没错，所以他告诉你更多的细节，对不对 ？Imagine yourself doing a task. 好，他说 doing a task first. 你要先去想象一下，说哦，我我要做一个这个，不要光想到三明治。你要想说哦，我要吃什么样的三明治 ？BLT， 哈、哦，对，到底是到底是什么样呢 ？Chicken salad， 好、哦，所以在这里的话，你要去想 and putting each ingredient on your sandwich. 先想象一下自己正在做这件事情。好、哦，我要拿这个 chicken， 啪，丢进去，然后呢，美奶滋啊，丢上去。先想这些细节，然后这里面的 ingredient。就是指呢，成分，就是你放进去的这些这些料啊等等，先把这些细节想清楚，你就不会忘记自己要做三明治了。Of course, you may still forget. That does happen. That's natural too. Don't worry about it. 嗯，他说，当然啦，你可能还是有机会会忘记的。However, if you can't remember what you were doing, it probably wasn't all that important anyway, because the brain focuses. And keeps in the mind important things more than unimportant things. 嗯，没错。所以说，最后他就告诉你说 ，However， 然而呢 ，If you can't remember what you were doing， 如果你真的记不得你刚刚的打算要做些什么的话 ，It probably wasn't all that important anyway. 说不定也不是什么重要的事情，所以不用担心，不用放在心上。Okay, now let's、uh, have our review of the important words. We started with doorway effect. Effect. Effect 就是效应的意思 It isn't limited to doors. Be limited to. 嗯，不就不只是仅限于 be limited to， 就是限制在什么什么样的范围之下 Breathe, as Anthony said. T H E is the verb, and it will be pronounced breathe. No E is the noun. Different pronunciation. Breath. 嗯，没错。再来就是呼吸 ，breathe 是动词。如果把 E 去掉，它是变成名词 ，breath。好，这个字要特别小心。The next word we're reviewing is fridge, and as I mentioned, that's the short form for. Refrigerator. So I'm glad we have a short form. 嗯，没错 ，refrigerator 的话，这个字比较难拼哦。R E F R I G E R A T O R. Right. E R R A T O R. Yes. Right. 所以在这边的话，就是把 fridge 那个 d 去掉，前面加 R E， 后面加上 T E 啊、uh, R A T O R， 这样就可以了。OK， 这个字很难。It is. Fridge has a D. D G. But Refrigerator. There's no D. Don't ask me why.、Mm. All right. Let's go and take a look at our next word, ingredient.、Uh, as he said, this is one of the things that we need in order to build something or make something. 没错，最后就是成分。好，所以说今天把一个食物里面有一些什么成分不一样的东西。那在这里头的话，你讲每一样的这个食材啊等等，那就叫 ingredient. Okay, that's it for today's lesson. So don't worry if you forget something. You are not alone. Okay, 那我们今天就上到这个地方喽。我们下次见，拜拜。再见。